So now let's add the functionality to update the password. Inside our profile actions, I'm going to create a new function. Password update. And inside uh, the parameters, we are going to receive the set success, the function to change the state of success. And also we are going to receive the user passwords. And inside try catch, inside the catch block, if there is any error, I'm just going to load the user, call in the catchers and pass in the error. And inside the try block, we are going to Dechecked it out the values from user passwords, current password, and new password. And we are going to make a post request dot post on settings and password. And inside the body, pass in the current and new password. So if you go to the profile API routes. We have this right here for the update password settings and slash password and make sure to add in this return statement after saving the user. So I, I think I forgot to add that inside the video when we were creating this uh, update password route. So if you haven't added this return statement, uh, make sure to add it. Otherwise it won't work. So after this post request, we are going to set the success to true. And now let's import this function inside our settings. import from utils and profile actions password update and we are going to need this function inside our update password component on this form right here on the on submit after e.prevent default set the loading to true await for password update pass in the set success and the user passwords and set the loading back to false and after this i'm going to call the function set show update password to false so this will basically hide these hide this component and now let's check if it works if i click on this update password first of all i'm going to type in and wrong password to check if our error handling is working on the back end So this is not my current password, new password I'm going to type in as 056, confirm and you can see we get this invalid password. And now if I go back and pass in my current password and our new one is going to be 789456 and click on confirm and now you get this message updated successfully and this is going to hide automatically because in our inside our component settings we added this use effect to change the success back to false after three seconds. So now let's log out and try to log in again. And if I type in my old password, one, two, three, four, five, six, we get invalid credentials. And if I type in my new password, seven, eight, nine, four, five, six, and we get able to log in. So now we are going to work on this uh, show new message pop-up settings. Inside our profile actions, export const toggle message pop-up. Async. And inside this function, we are going to receive the pop-up setting and set pop-up setting. So the state and the function to change the state. And also we are going to receive the set success. Inside try catch, again, if there is any error, call the alert and catch errors, pass in the error. And inside the try block, we are going to make a request to this route right here settings and message pop up. So wait axios.post settings and message pop up. And after this, we are going to call the set pop-up setting and not pop-up setting. And after this, call in the set success, set to true. So we are making a post request 
toggling the state so if it is true it is going to say set to false uh, and vice versa and set success to true so again this will show that message and now let's import this inside our settings toggle message pop-up and on this checkbox right here we are going to have an on change and let's call this toggle message pop-up and pass in the pop setting set pop-up setting and set success so now let's check if it works refresh and if i click on this you get this uh, updated successfully and if i go back and click on this again we get this updated successfully and if i refresh go to settings it is set to true and if i okay change it back refresh go to settings and it is set to false so i'm going to set it back to true so this was all for this video in the next video we are going to make some change in the backend so that the user is shown only his own posts and the post of the user he is following so i will see you there